sign that says the spin room, and it's where all the reporters hang out, and where right after the debate, all the people who work for the candidates go to spin. And it's the most honest thing, because they at least say, this is a spin room. I have a rule, I don't even go in the spin room, because it's just so ridiculous. Because no one even, even before the debates are finished, the people are in there spinning about how their candidates completely, you know, won the debate. <laughs> the last time I went to the spin room, I'd actually moderated a, a, a Democratic primary debate back in 2008. And, or actually, I think that was 2004. And, and there were, I don't know, there were, or maybe 2008, there were like 10 candidates. And this was like General Wesley Clark was running, and a whole bunch of Al Sharpton was running at one time. And I went into the post debate spin room, and some Italian reporter came up to me and started asking me a question about Israel and, and Palestinian territory. And I realized he thought I was General Wesley Clark. Um, <laughs> And I always answered the question because I knew what General Clark would say about it, but I decided I didn't want to cause like an international incident. Um, but I do think with, with newspapers dying, with, with partisan bloggers becoming more and more uh, ubiquitous, it's really more important than ever before to know where your news comes from, to know who's shaping it, who's delivering it. It's really the only way to know what, what's true and, and what's not. You, you all have access to more information than ever before. And it's... Um, We've all seen, even just this week in the race, how somebody with a, a small hidden camera can dramatically impact the presidential race. <laughs> Clearly, you're not a Romney supporter. Uh, it's funny, uh, Romney supporter for being quiet during that. Clearly, Democrats applaud you for that. Um, but, no, but, but, but my point is.
opinion coming out tonight. I'm